Hello, uh, uh, the law office of James Hose, um, Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah, I just wanted to shoot this video so you could see what kind of things that we do. And uh, our, our process is to not spend a lot of money on Google ads, Facebook ads, TV, all these things that everybody does. But use the website that you have right now to extend it all the way to the end. So I came across this website and I saw what, what y'all were doing and anything. And I wanted to make this video just for you to put in, so you can put in action so you can start beating your competition online. I don't want to waste your time or waste my time either. So by the end of this video, if you like what you've heard and you can tell, I have a lot of strategies to help grow your business and it's something that you're looking for. Give me a call. and We can chat. If not, no harm, no foul. Feel free to take the tips that I've given you and use them for yourself. <clears throat> the three tips I'm going to give you today is content, citations, and backlinks. So the first topic is content. That's basically anything that you can see on your front page, including your, uh, your uh, pictures, because behind those pictures are content, and um, it's included in it. So why is content important? I'm sure you've heard the term content is king. <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have enough content on your page to clearly let Google know what it is that you do and what kind of services that you offer. Also, you want to have enough content to make sure that you're getting keywords and key phrases worked into the content. So that way it reads naturally. You want to be sure you're getting found for those keywords or key phrases that people may be searching for because someone is looking for your services but they may not have heard of your branding. So that's the first tip I've got for you. It's just make sure that you have a lot of keyword, unique, rich content on your front page right here. Typically you want to have about 1500 words, which it's just a little bit short of it. And, um, right on the front page. So you do have quite a bit here, but I would recommend or suggest adding more. That way you can be found on more searches. Second tip I'm going to give you today is citations. So you might be asking yourself, what is a citation? By, by searching your keyword, which I used uh, Louisville Law Firm. So uh, in the Louisville area. So the first thing you, that you're going to see on any normal Google search are the ads right up here at the top. These people are paying for these uh, ads, which you're right there on top, I guess. So, um, now this can be somewhat of a gamble because there's a lot of people out there that choose to, to not to uh, click on these ads. Maybe they've had a bad experience with ads in the past, but in 2021, a lot of people are using ad blockers. I wasn't sure if you were aware of this. People have been getting sick of the ads over the years and they started installing ad blockers. So they may not see these ads. Below, this is the map section. If you go down here, this is the map section. And it shows you the top favorite ones. Seems to be a more trusted area, and people tend to like what they click on. They use the button to call directly from their cell phone. This is directly related to a citation. So what a citation is, the second thing that I want to discuss with you, is essentially your business name, address, and phone number. So there's your name, address, and the phone number, and the website. We call that the NAP. And uh, th these are put in directories across the web, like Yellow Pages, Facebook, or Yelp, or social online profiles where business can put their business information in there and their services. All it does is just give you another revenue to reach more people, basically to be at your competition. You just have to go out and get the same type of directory listings that your competition has. But you don't want to just stop there. If you really, truly want to be at your competition, you want to make sure that you have more directory listings in your competition. So at Louisville Marketing, we have the tools that we can use to research your competition. So we can find out what directories they're in, and we try to get you in the same ones as well. Now, the third thing I want to go over with you is backlinks and what a backlink is. It's essentially another website that's giving you a link back to your website so people can find you. Now, not all backlinks are created equal, and so, for example, having a Pizza Hut referring back to you isn't isn't going to do as much as your rankings as maybe another uh, uh, injury lawyer in another state. 
So making sure that you have relevant backlinks that are relevant to your industry and your services that you offer will help you dominate your competition in the search engine. I used uh, a couple different ones. Uh, one of the ones I wanted to show you was uh, the Whaley Law Firm. And um, basically looking at their page, you can see they have got quite a bit of content. So there's not, maybe not as much, well, there's actually more down here. So they've got quite a bit of content and all the pictures, all the videos count um, as, as, um, as the content toward it. So, but I, I have a, another tool that I use. It's called AREPS. And this isn't 100%, here it is right here, AREPS. And it's a tool that uh, isn't 100% true, but it's, they basically buy their information from Google and so without me having to access your Google Analytics data, which is going to be the most accurate and up-to-date information, this will give me an idea like what's working for you and what's not. So with this data, I can tell that you guys right now have 58 um, do domains that are linking from somewhere else to you. And if you click on this, it'll tell you exactly what those domains are. Now you have 332 backlinks which means 332 backlinks come from 58 websites. That's exactly what that means. And you're being found for 90 keywords, and you've got a traffic of 31. That's basically one a day is coming through. Now, if you go into uh, the keywords, what I was discussing to you on the phone is that uh, your branding is anything that's got Howe's Law Firm on it. So all this is your branding. You can get your name in there, Isaiah. And um, everything right here, all the way up to here. Now, this is uh, the position that they're in. So uh, this is the first listing to show up. So what Google does is for your branding, which is James Howells, attorney, Louisville, Kentucky, and anything referring to that, even James Howells, is your branding. And that's what the, Google gives that to you so that uh, anybody with a specific name will always show up first. So, um, so that's the first spot that you have for that name on your, uh, uh, on your keywords that are directing to your website. So everything from here down to right about here is all Hal's Law Firm. And there, even eight. So that's the A spot. Now there's 10 spots on a, um, on a page when you search. So when you, when you cross this line right here, you're on the second, now you're at 21st. It's actually the third, first on the third page, which is basically not showing up for anything. So workman's comp lawyers, Louisville, Kentucky, you're two pages back in one. And, uh, you just got a little bit better. So you were about two and a half pages back before this change made. So you're not getting credit or showing up. For any of the ones below eight here and these really go way 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 back so all you have to do is improve on the things that i'm talking about citations backlinks and uh, keywords and you'll move up higher on this list and you'll start showing up for all the things that matter which are all these keywords you know attorney little kentucky you want to say show up for that and a workman's compensation attorney, Louisville, Kentucky. You want to show for that. And you don't want to have to go out to Google or Facebook and pay for ads to get the same thing that you can get right here. So, um, so that, that, that gives you an idea of, of how the keywords work. And this really shows you specifically how to do it. And, um, of course you look at a Morgan and Morgan, you know, they're, uh, they're, they've got plenty of value up here. But if you look at their AREFs, their, um, I, I didn't mention before, but the UR is, is what Google thinks about you. So from zero to 100, you're a 78. If you go back to yours, um, zero to 100, let me go back to the, you're, you're 22. And so, um, on Morgan Morgan's backlinks, they're 200, uh, they're almost a quarter million. 220k a thousand 220,000 backlinks coming from over 6,000 websites 
and then they're getting a hundred over a hundred thousand keywords they're ranking for and they're getting traffic of 350,000. So I know they're not just in Louisville, they're all over the place. So a lot of this would be from different locations. So they're gonna bound to get more. So when I go to uh, uh, Whaley uh, uh, firm and look at their statistics, they're pretty close on 29 UR. They have a domain rating of six and they have over three and a half, have, uh, 3,500, 3,600 backlinks on 99 websites. So whereas you were uh, 332 on 58 uh, backlink uh, websites. So they're, they're 99, you're over 58. You were 300 and they're over 3,000. So in that they're, they're searching, they're being searched for 604 keywords. And they're now getting 198 traffic per month. So if you go in and look at their keywords, and we'll put them in order. So for their, they're not even doing so well on their branding. They're, they're still on the front page and people can still find them. But it comes down here to say uh, motorcycle accident. They're going to be found because they're on the first page, number nine. And there's 10 on each page, like I said a minute ago. So Louisville accident attorney, they're going to be found. All these ones down to down to 10. So 11 is where it changes. Well, all this stuff, they're going to teen driver restrictions, all this stuff. All these uh, keywords, they're going to be found for because they're on the front page. And they're, like I said, they're getting um, 100 and, I think it was 106, 198 from the Whaley law firm. So, um, so it makes a, it makes a big difference. So, um, so uh, I'd actually look to see which of these links would benefit you the most because see, not all, all, uh, backlinks are the same. Uh, there's some, let me just go into referring domains. The ones with zeros in front of them for domain rating, they're not helping you one bit. They don't have any power. And um, the domain rating is actually your power. That's what I was looking at the front of this. Uh, easy local is 77. That's got some power to it. All the rest of them are worthless, basically. You know, Michelle Burger, Bugler or whatever that is. And um, so somebody's put a lot of backlinks on here that are really basically not doing you any good. And... Um, go back to this so a lot, half of these backlinks are doing nothing so you need good relevant backlinks that are going to really give your uh, uh, website power now we can you know do all this and uh, there's very few marketing agencies that really know how to do this so um, um, I just want to appreciate you taking the time to watch this and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're not interested in working with a mark, another agency or whatever, that's fine too. But feel free to, to take these steps and see how they work out. And if you give me some feedback about this video and our strategies, I would really appreciate it. And thank you for time and, and you're watching this video. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.